Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to install Nginx on our Ubuntu server and create a virtual host on it. First, I will show you how to access the default web page to check that everything is okay. And then when we configure our virtual host, I will show you port 80 using HTTP and also port 443 using SSL with HTTPS. We will create our own certificate file and key and check network traffic to understand the difference. Before we proceed, let me remind you, you can subscribe to my channel in order to support it and press the alert button to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Now, let's do it. Okay, let's start by uh, installing Nginx in our server by doing apt install Nginx. The name of the package is the same as the software. It's a very small one, so it should be quick. And there we go. Let me check the status of Nginx uh, service. And it, as you can see, it's already available, but still inactive. Now let's uh, reset the service uh, firewall configurations and build a complete uh, new one for this purpose. As you can see, it's inactive and I will enable it and then create the rule for TCP on port 80. Let's recall status and as you can see, port 80 is already available. Now let's uh, make a systemctl restart for nginx service to check if it starts properly. And after that, we can check it with systemctl status. And as you can see, it is already active. Now let's move on and start configuring our nginx server by going to slash var slash www an area where you can see an HTML folder. Here is where we will host our web content. I will move away uh, an index.html file that was already there when I was using it. And then I will uh, put the default uh, HTML file from Nginx service. So this is already prepared. Now I will show you that we will be using this uh, local IP address for our connections and to test our default web server we need only this, okay? So visiting this web page will show you that we are already using our Nginx service accessing the default virtual host. To prove that, let me show you some uh, network traffic using TCP dump in verbose mode. In our Ethernet one for port 80, filtered traffic, and let me refresh. So the network traffic we are looking at will show you that we are in fact getting HTTP uh, protocol for the host 192.168.55.10. So this means we are really accessing default web page and the server responding to our query is nginx. Moving forward, now let me show you how to configure our nginx server to create a new virtual host, in this case a new web page that will be accessed only if we put in our browser the correct host name. Let's go to the slash etc slash nginx slash sites minus available folder and there I will create a new configuration file called linuxtechschool.conf. Inside this file I will put all the necessary syntax to do it. We have to listen on port 80 and we have to determine the folder where the new virtual host will be hosted in this case slash var slash www slash 
Linux Tech School. And then let's configure our index file that will be called index.html and is usually the default for any web page. After that, let's uh, configure the server name directive and tell it that Linux Tech School local will be our host name for this server. And remember that this is not an FQDN, so this is only for local purpose inside our subnet. Now, after that, let's use the location directive to tell the server that it should try the standard uh, uniform resource identifier and if not found it should return the default uh, not found error error codes 404 so that's it we have our structure already completed we can save the file and exit the editor and move on to enable this virtual host as you can see only the default virtual host is already enabled i will create a new link so we can have this new virtual host we have just created in this case what we'll do is to make a, a link a connection between the configured file and a link on this folder so that nginx can understand that we have a new virtual host configured and we'll make it available to our visitors and there we go the new file is already here present on the sites enabled folder and after this we can move on to restart our service and check if it is already working properly but before that we just have to create quickly a web content so let's go again to our slash var slash www where we will create a new folder called linux tech school to host this new web page and inside that folder we will create a new index.html file with some web content let me put here some html tags and uh, for example the head with a title I will put here my Linux tech school web page something very simple so you can see that after this we will have this simple web page available the end of head and now a small body file with a paragraph Let's write something. Welcome to my Linux tech school. So should be enough. Let me just end my sentence because we are using Nginx. Close the paragraph, close my web page body tag and HTML tag. So, the file is there. We have the read permission to our visitors. They are considered guests. So the permissions are okay. And now let's restart. After we restart, let's check the status because it's important to always verify what you are doing. Before you proceed, we have the service active. So let's proceed. In my client, I need to edit my host's uh, file so we can have a new entry for this new uh, virtual host, in this case, the host name of our server. So for 192.168.55.10, we will add the Linux Tech School local host name. Save the file, exit, and then ping using the host name to confirm that your machine is reaching the, the server correctly. So if you put 
this exact host name in your browser, you should go straight to your server and check the web page. As you can see, we are visiting the correct web page, not the default one, because we are using the host name in Nginx server to call for the virtual host. Let me show you that using TCP dump. I will refresh and in this case, let me show you that the host is not is no longer the IP address, but at this point is Linux Tech School local a host name, and this is what Nginx will be doing. It will search for any virtual host with this host name and deliver that content to the user. So let's go straight to Nginx sites available and make a small configuration to tell it that we want to listen to port 443 in SSL so using encryption and to do that we need to add some more directives because we need SSL certificates and uh, keys to do it so we are activating the engine and putting some directives for the certificate I will be hosting the files at slash etc slash nginx slash ssl minus certs slash linux tech school dot crt let me copy paste in this case cut paste and the other directive for the ssl key will be let me change it here trusted underscore certificates and certificate key okay so this is what we need let me change the file names this is the key and the last directive but we need to create them so before we proceed let me just have here the listen directive for ipv6 I forgot to, to do it earlier, so if you are using IPv6, you can put the very same uh, rules as we already had for port 80 and for port 443 with SSL. So now we are set for both protocols, okay? I will not show you that here in this video, so you can uh, do your own tests using IPv6. Now let's move on, saving the file and exit the editor to create the new certificate and key for our new uh, virtual host that will be accepting connections using SSL. The folder I mentioned is already created and I will use OpenSSL comments to create a new certificate file and private key file for, for example, one year, 365 days and put the path for the key with 2048 bits that will be hosted in our current folder. Let me write the name of the file linux tech school dot key and then finally let me put the name of the certificate linux tech school dot crt okay we have to fulfill these fields so country should be pt in my case state province Let's put uh, Lisbon, for example, L LX. The organization Linux Tech School. And here should put none, nothing special. And in this case, Linux Tech School dot local. This one is important because it really is up to the correct domain name you are creating. So. As you can see, we already have both files in our certificate and 
key folder and let's restart and check the status to make sure that the new configurations are okay and let me show you that nginx already set port 443 and 443 uh, in ipv6 and of course port 80 that was already being used finally let's take care of the firewall because we are using a new port so we can use it only if we had a new rule for port 443 on tcp protocol we are done now let me put tcp dump again so you can uh, check the traffic with me and see that using ssl we will no longer see open traffic instead we will see everything encrypted now let's go back to our browser i will show you that this connection uh, is no longer um, an http connection instead it is an https i have accepted the fact that i have accepted the fact that the certificate was generated by me and not by a trusted company so i have decided to move on and show you the web page Looking at the network traffic, you will see that my browser from uh, IP ending in 2 is visiting IP ending in 10, the server, but we are using SSL. And that for, uh, port 443 is responding with the traffic uh, that uh, contains our web page. So this is the example that was needed to show you that we have uh, the means to create standard web pages and also uh, encrypted pages using nginx it's a very nice alternative to apache 2 and i will be creating new videos showing that we can use uh, nginx also as a reverse uh, proxy uh, for example with apache 2 and that's it i hope you have enjoyed the video so please press like and subscribe the channel in order to support it and the alert button if you want to receive notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. See you next time guys, thank you very much once again and bye bye.